Bottomless iced tea, hey? Sounds pretty good. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to a new Project Zomboid video. I'm going to turn off our TV here. I'm going to show you something pretty cool. Many of you may know about, but many of you may not. And uh, by the title of the video, you probably already guessed that uh, it's a Firewatch Tower. Now, this is an addition you can download. This is a mod, actually, you can subscribe to, which I think is pretty awesome. It has its own self, well, sort of self-sustaining little farm on the top. Not really, but um, it has water buckets that fill up with water from the rain, so that's kind of cool. It has a little farm that you can start off and hopefully expand. And as we head down here to the main part of the Firewatch Tower, we have a fully equipped little cabin with 360 degree views of the forest below so we can keep eyes on any intruders that may want to take over our little location and as we head on inside we have as we come up the stairs to the tower a little bit of shelving just to store some bits and pieces as we drop things off and a toilet with lights included which is pretty awesome and then once we head out there into the main cabin we have pretty much everything we could possibly need to survive on our own. We have gun storage, couches, TVs, radios for entertainment. We have beds, we have kitchens, we have it all. And it's all powered, which is absolutely awesome. So you pretty much are good to go because you have your farm on top with your water and everything else you need inside. As we head down, this is actually a very, very big tower. And you'll see that as we head down here. It isn't 100% zombie proof, so you will need to be careful with who you bring back here. But I do think it is pretty awesome, and I really did think it was worth showing off. I did test this, um, you know, to see if this was zombie proof by spawning 500 zombies down here. And uh, they definitely got up, and I will show you that towards the end. But as you can see, it has a nice tall wired fence pretty much all the way around. The only way zombies can get in here is smashing through this bit of gate. But other than that, they cannot get through anything else. They can't jump over this, they can't smash through it. Only you can, so... It's pretty sweet. The tower itself is located between West Point and Louisville. And it's based on a recreated vanilla map, which replaces cell 47 and 22. And the actual mod name itself is tower 4722 but i'll put a link to it in the description and you can check it out for yourself it does not change any other objects in that cell and that cell is, is pretty quiet anyway so no stress all right so that's enough about that let's try 500 zombies storming the compound and let's see what happens when we run as fast as we can upstairs and lock our doors all right 500 zombies, we'll spawn them in a radius of 10, and we'll chuck them out there, spawn them in, and here they come, they are not going to spend much time waiting, so let's quickly get up these stairs, this is going to be, this isn't going to be a fun time. Don't catch yourself in one of these situations. If uh, if you see a massive horde heading towards your house, you either better be ready to defend the heck out of it, or, I don't know, you're going to want to run. Let's quickly turn off the TV, and uh, we'll turn off the radio here too. Oh, it's already off. And I might, just, I might just sit on the couch. Now, previously, the zombies would have just fallen back down the stairwell because their tracking was pretty terrible. But now, in the recent updates, they may find their way up a little bit better. Oh god, we're up. Ah! That's, that's essentially it. I, I really just thought this was really cool. I, um, I liked the design. I just wanted to show it off to you guys. Did I mention there was a little fireplace type thing that you could keep your little cabin warm at? Which is awesome. If you'd like to see more awesome little base designs that you might want to live at too, drop a like. And uh, if you want to see more Project Zomboid content, you can subscribe. I've already done a few challenges and bits and pieces. I don't have all the time in the world, so I try and make what I can when I can. And uh, I want to thank you guys, the thousand subscribers um, that we got not long ago. 
it's allowed me to afford a new rubber band to keep my microphone out of my face, which is awesome. So, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for that. And here is the entire tower in all its glory. It just looks incredible. A lot of, well, I feel like a lot of effort was put into this. I think it's really cool. Um, so if you want to see more, and if you want me to make more videos, hit the like button. Drop us a comment of what you'd like to see. And I'll see you guys again very soon.